All right, Laura, let's just start at the top of the list. Yes, sir. Um, uh, first on the list is to call Wilson Prefer. Yeah, okay. Talk to me about that conversation. So we talked about the four aspects of summer pre-calculus class. Yeah. Auto, NAPS, and the prep school in Newport, which is yeah. also NAPS. Yeah. Um, the summer pre-calculus class, he chose to give up this summer into junior year to take the pre-calculus class. Yeah. And travel baseball. Yeah. He was chosen to represent the state of Minnesota, but he chose the pre-calculus class instead to pursue his future. Yep. The Naval Academy. Okay. Well, how do you feel about that? Um, well, he wasn't too motivated. I mean, I guess he was happy that he made the decision in the long run, but it obviously hurt and impacted him. Yep. And that it, was, it was it was a real real grown person's decision, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And did he tell you I made that decision for him? No, he made it himself. Yep. Okay. The class was eight weeks and four hours per day. Yep. And and it and how hard was it? It was very difficult. <laughs> yep. Because we had we had a lot of we had some conversations about him doing schoolwork. And we, you know, but but you want to go do grown people things, you gotta make grown people decisions, right? Yes, sir. Okay, keep going. Uh, Colorado, he was about to give up and go to Colorado State. Yeah. And taking the easy way out, and you had to talk with him. Okay. Did he, did he elaborate on that on that conversation? And he just told me that you brought him back to trap, like brought him back up to speed. He didn't. He didn't talk about a coffin. A coffin. Yeah. No, sir. So he gave you a politically correct answer. I told him the only way he was going to go to Colorado State. Is if he was going to be buried in a cemetery out there. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so look, I don't have, there's no limits on the, where I'm going to go. Okay. And, and, and he, he gave up so much to get there and he was struggling, man. He, you know, he tell you about chemistry. Uh, no, sir. So he, he had to take summer school chemistry. I think he had to take another summer school class because he didn't pass. Like, he, he had to fight it out, you know, but sometimes you just got to be reminded, you know, hey, listen, I did all this stuff to get here. I'm not transferring to Colorado State. Like, I'm not, you know, especially with him. Like, he just, you know, it's hard, man. It sucks. And I don't think people understand that when I tell them that it sucks, you know, like, I'm not going to sh shy away from telling you that it's going to be an awful experience for you. You know, it's not going to be a lot of lot of joy. It's not going to be a lot of fun. You know, um, we got to talk about the whole female situation with you because I think that's kind of, that's just one of those deals that's a lot different than a lot of other places. But we'll talk about all that stuff as we get closer to going because we still got a year. So once you get in, then we'll start having those, those real life conversations about how your experience at the Naval Academy is going to affect you and how bad it's just going to suck. Okay. Guy, all right, what else you talk with Wilson about? Uh, NAPS, the Navy, the Naval okay. Academy Prep School. What did he say about NAPS? Um, he said it wasn't easy at all. Yep. It's really hard. It's, mm -hmm. it's twice as hard as the Naval Academy. Yes, sir. Okay. And he, he, I mean, he got crushed at NAPS. What did he say about it? He said he was constantly busy. And it's school-based, as the Naval Academy is. Um, it was nine months, and you needed 2.2 minimum GPA to graduate. And they have three companies, and the daily schedule from Monday through Friday. You rotate meal times, and then you have two classes. Then you eat lunch, you have two classes, sports or workout, dinner, then study time, and then 11 p.m., I believe, is lights out. Yep. Okay, good. All right. So, like, for you, when you, you're – I pretty much – you're going to go to NAPS, okay? So, what I would tell you is you don't get to go home the first trimester, mm -hmm. okay? Your parents can come visit you, but you can't go home that first trimester because what will happen is you'll, you'll get used to going home and you won't have your face in them books, okay? So, after the first trimester, when we see what your grades are, then we'll make a determination – 
how much time you get to go home. Now you go home for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm not talking about that, but I'm just saying in general, like running home is not the answer. Okay. okay, but we'll talk about all that. Like that that goes on that list of when you go to naps or you get into naps and we'll have naps conversation. Will I still be applying to the Naval Academy? This yeah, it's the same application. We're just going to tell them that we would like to go to NAPS, mainly because your test score is not that good. If I improve my test score, will that allow me to go straight to the academy? Um, uh, it may, but this is what you got to understand. Getting to the Naval Academy and failing out is not what we're trying to do. Okay. Right. And if and remember what I told you about your academic prowess, right? Yes, sir. If you had a, if you had ninety fives right now, I wouldn't care if you went to the Naval Academy straight. But when you're down there in the eighty category and you're doing work and you you have to study, then I'm always looking at long term success. Yes, the sir. pain of the Naval. So here's the deal with NAPS: you take chemistry, physics, and calculus in the same year. Okay, so. I think, I'm pretty sure, and English, and computer science. So, like, it's basically a free year to get up to speed on all those classes. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. And so I know a lot of people uh, shy away from going to prep school, but we haven't sent anybody to the prep school that hasn't graduated from the Naval Academy. So in 25 years, like I use the prep school because a lot of times like you're trying to go to the Naval Academy and there's a bunch of like, I'm going to say it this way. There's a bunch of snotty kids out there. Oh, I'm going to go to the Naval. I'm not going to the Naval Academy prep school. If I didn't get in, I'm not going. And they fail to realize the long game. Okay. The long game is graduating in May 30th, roughly from the Naval Academy seven years from now. That's the long game, okay? And you better have a strategy because it's not necessarily an easy road to hoe, okay? Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to get your mind right because I don't want to hear no nonsense about you going to prep school, okay? Yes, sir. I, I personally will see. See how you do this summer. We'll see how you do when we lift up all these, some of these extracurriculars. You you lift up some of these extra extracurriculars. We'll see how you do academically and then, you know, we'll see. But I'm going to tell you right now, with your SAT score, you're going to probably go to NAPS. Yes, sir. Okay. What else? We also talked about how United States Naval Academy is a STEM-based school. Yep. And he is a political science major. Yep. I was thinking of doing as well. Yep. Um, and team. you still got to take electrical engineering. And he didn't like electrical engineering. He didn't like weapon systems, right? Yes, sir. I'm a STEM-based kid. That's why I thought the whole school was the easiest thing I've ever done. But that's the difference, right? Yes, sir. Okay, good. You had, So you had a good, long conversation with him, right? Yes, we did. Okay, did you write him a thank you note? Uh, yes, sir. I thanked him after. You, you wrote him a note on a piece of paper and put it in the mail to the Naval Academy? Oh, no, sir. I did not. Okay, let's go. We're going to learn how to have big, big girl pants on. Yes, sir. Because how much time were you on the phone with him with? I'd say about 45 minutes, sir. Yep. Write him a thank you note, please. Because who's going to go over to admissions for you before he graduates? Wilson, sir. Okay. What's that mean? What does Wait. that mean? I'm gonna send, Tom, I'm going to send him over to the admissions to bump for her okay so he'll go over to admissions and just say hey man i had a couple great conversations with laura like man she got her stuff together awesome yeah i don't i don't play fair tom we're not we're not trying to roll dice here so uh should i message him for his address uh if you just google united states naval academy and just put his name on it first class and drop it in the mail, he'll get it. <clears throat> so do this. You can call the Naval Academy and at, ask them for his address, and they'll give you his address. Just tell them that you need to mail him a thank you card 
and they'll give you the address. Automated shipping has the same address. Yes, sir. I will do that. Okay. And I'm going to tell you the FIO. You know what FIO is? No, sir. Figure it out. Yes, sir. Okay. And there's probably nothing wrong with you texting him and just saying, hey, what's your address? Yes, sir. But when you like, so when you get a chance to talk to somebody for 45 minutes, you need to understand, like, I need to, I need to handwrite a thank you note. No one writes handwrite thank you notes anymore. No one. Yeah. Handwritten thank you notes get you to the finish line. Okay. Following up electronically afterwards uh, is nice, but in addition to that, write a letter. Got it. Yeah, Tom, no one writes handwritten thank you notes anymore. I got a, man, I, I just dug out. I was going through some boxes and I got a whole, here they are. So, right, I got a whole bag. Hang on, will it come through? Uh, maybe not. I got a whole bag of thank you notes right here. So anytime I have a conversation, you just bang out a thank you note, throw it in the mail. All those stamps are getting expensive. It goes a long ways because people aren't writing notes anymore. Everybody wants to do it on email. Oh, I got to thank you on email. It's not the same as opening an envelope and seeing an awesome thank you letter. Okay. Yes, All right. Could you be able to forward me your address, sir? No, I, you know, I don't even need to write me a thank you note. You just need to do what I tell you to do. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate it, Tom. I don't need thank you notes. So I need, a, I need effort. Huh? You're exempt from thank you notes? Yeah, I am. No? Okay. Yeah. Because I'd rather have her spend that time on winning. All right. Yeah, I don't need a thank you note. You thanking me by, by sitting down and having everything I asked you to have done, done. That's how you thank me. Same thing with my seals. I don't, I don't tell them... I, I hate when they thank me. I just, you call me and make sure that your times are coming down and that you're doing what I'm telling you to do because you're going to be successful that way. That's my thank you. My thank you, like Wilson Prefer getting ready to graduate and my guy Blake Watson's getting ready to graduate from West Point. That's my thank you, right? Like seven years ago, Wilson Prefer started this process and he fixing to graduate from the Naval Academy here in a month. That's all, that's, that's what I do. Right. That's the thank you for me. And, you know, I don't read very well anyway, so I might I might not read the note the right way. Anyway. All right. What else you got? So that was it. Was that all with Wilson Prefer? Uh, he gave me two more. Oh, three more topics. OK, he go ahead. About how the teachers or professors there are 50 percent civilian, 50 percent military. Yep. Um, the number of job openings fluctuate from year to year. Yep. And his advice is to keep grinding. 100%, right? Like you heard me say, you got to grind, right? Okay. All right. So that's Naps. Um, did, did, what kind of questions did you ask him on the back end? Um, I asked him how giving up sports impacted him. Mm hmm. And what did he say? He said it impacted him, but it helped him be successful in the long run. Okay. All right. Tough answer, right? Yes, sir. Okay. What else you asking? Um, I asked him about the classes that he's taking right now. Mm hmm And he said he has to study a lot, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, buddy, he spent a, he spent like two years. That first two years, man, he spent he had so much pain. It, Lord, it was it was immense pain on him. You know, I had him studying all day Saturday, all day Sunday. You know, getting up studying, it sucks. But if you want if you want it, you got to get it. And if you start, you're gonna finish. You know, and it may it may not be any fun at all. Like, I, I, I'm going to help you out because I'm going to lay it out for you. The Naval Academy is the worst place in the world. And I'm going to tell you that continually. So when you get there and you call me and you're crying and you say, man, it sucks. I'm working so hard and I got a 2.1 GPA and I don't like it. I'm going to make two assessments. Psychologically, are you going to be okay? So because we don't want to break you. And then two, like, I'm slap the crap out of you so that you get back to work. But I'm always going to make sure that you're going to be okay. We, we ain't had nobody go off the deep end. 
because you don't have a lot of support. I told you that. Like I got in a freshman class, it looks it looks like in a freshman class right now, I'm gonna have five people in a freshman class. All five of you are gonna get together here. Uh, wait, that's not true. Not the freshman class. I got five freshmen in this class. So there'll be five people that will reach out to you here probably when you get accepted because there'll be freshmen there. And then I still got a bunch of juniors and sophomores there now. So, like, you'll have support. And what I've found over the last 25 years, sometimes it's just as simple as someone bringing you a Snickers bar at night or coming to see you, like, during plebe summer in the middle of the night and say, hey, how you doing? Now, I got to find a female to do it, and I lost my two females that are there, but we'll figure it out. But some will come check on you, say, how you doing? You say, man, it sucks. They'll say, we know. You know, and then you just get back on your horse and keep riding.